Now, let's look at games and entertainment support. When it comes to integrating multiple APIs into one application, we immediately think of gaming. In recent years, mobile consumers have demanded rich, immersive gaming experiences, rather like a PC or a console, but experiences that also exploit the specific features of today's modern handsets. These include haptic feedback, multi-touch, advanced 3D graphics, motion sensing, gesture recognition, and rich multi-sound audio. All these are features of the Badder platform. Of course, the test really lies in what developers think about building for this environment and having to work with the features of Badder to deliver their product. As part of bringing the Badder platform to the developer community, we've been collaborating with several content partners who have been working with us firsthand for a number of months. Today, I'd like to introduce you to one of them. So can I ask you to please welcome Tim Kloss, CTO of IdeaWorks Labs, to hear his thoughts and experiences. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Phil, and good evening, everyone. Uh, IdeaWorks Labs, for those of you who don't know us, um, we're a mobile technology company headquartered here in London. Uh, we also have offices in Seoul, um, Kyoto, and San Francisco. We've been around for just over 10 years. Um, we've licensed technology uh, to major corporations in the industry, including Intel, Autodesk, Texas Instruments, and others. <clears throat> IdeaWorks Labs is now focused on licensing a product called Airplay SDK into the mobile development ecosystem. Airplay SDK allows developers to build rich C++ applications using state-of-the-art tools, compile those applications once to native CPU instructions, and then deploy with a single click that application across multiple operating systems and devices. Now, Airplay SDK supports all types of mobile applications, but it's been used to particularly good effect in creating some of the world's most advanced mobile games. Now, on the screen behind me, you're about to see an advanced 3D mobile game that's been developed using Airplay SDK, in this case by Capcom, and deployed to the Samsung Vada platform called Resident Evil. As I said, this game was originally developed using Airplay SDK, and now that Airplay supports Samsung's Vada platform, it can be redeployed to Samsung Vada devices with a single click. And of course, it can then be easily optimized for all of the Vada specific features within their, within their platform. The promise that IdeaWorks Labs makes with Airplay is to support all commercially relevant platforms and devices as they come to market. And we've chosen to add support to Samsung Vada to Airplay SDK because we believe that Vada will offer developers a huge install base of target devices over time and an extremely compelling distribution platform with the Samsung App Store. Airplay's proven ability to deliver high performance native applications, even on feature phone devices, means that we can support the long term rollout of Vada across an extremely wide um, stretch of the Samsung device portfolio. We're committed to supporting Vada in the Airplay SDK going forward. For instance, we'll support all the Vada APIs for Samsung specific device sensors, including haptic interfaces, proximity, and 3D orientation. And also, Airplay SDK will be optimized for the graphics capability of the Vada devices. For example, we will allow developers to automatically create asset sets that are optimally conditioned for the device's chipset and OpenGL ES drivers. And since Vada provides access to so many great hardware features, such as these device sensors, uh, multi-point touch, etc., we have added to Airplay SDK the ability to connect actual Vada devices to a desktop simulator over a Wi-Fi connection, allowing the developer the experience of a real hardware interface um, and still use the efficiency of a, of a desktop development environment. So, to round up, IdeaWorks is extremely excited by what Samsung are doing with their Vada platform. We've been very impressed by the technical support that they've given our team so far, and we look forward to continuing to support Vada within the Airplay SDK. Thank you.